I'm going to introduce to everyone Hildy Kate Lishak. Hildy caught the journalism bug from her dad, Matthew, a former New York Daily News reporter who was with us this afternoon. Hildy gained national attention when she was only nine. She scooped the competition and reporting the news of a grisly murder in her hometown of Sellingsboro, Pennsylvania. She published the story in her monthly newspaper, The Orange Street News. Later, Cody had to go to YouTube to defend herself when some internet doubters and even some haters suggested that a nine-year-old girl shouldn't be doing journalism, much less hanging around crime scenes. She dismissed those critics as just noise. <laughs> Hildy's plucky self-confidence is truly inspiring. The youngest member of the National Society of Professional Journalists, she has been featured on Good Morning America, NBC's Today Show, Forbes, The Washington Post, and the Columbia Journalism Review. She's even been on CNN. <laughs> She's given a commencement address at West Virginia University. She and her dad have a young person's book series with Scholastic Publishing. And Apple TV is launching its streaming service with a 10 episode series starring child actor Brooklyn Prince as Philby. The series title, Home Before Dark. <laughs> Still, none of the popularity has deterred Philby from her true passion for reporting. In Selons Grove, she investigated a case of ethnic intimidation by a reported member of the KKK. She uncovered an extensive drug crisis in the local high school, and she bravely took on a corrupt district attorney. Beyond the small town, Hildy has interviewed Nobel Peace Prize laureate Malala Yousafzai and former First Lady Michelle Obama, who told Hildy that there is a zero chance that she will run for president. <laughs> Soon after moving to Patagonia, Arizona, Philby again made headlines when she challenged the local police chief who incorrectly told her that she couldn't film him on a public street. She posted a video of her being threatened with arrest after the marshal stopped her on her bike and after she identified herself as a reporter. <laughs> Among the marshal's comments was, I don't want to hear about this freedom of the press stuff. <laughs> the incident received national attention, and Patagonian officials eventually offered an apology to Hildy, which she graciously accepted. As Hildy says, quote, if the people with power were allowed to dictate what you could or couldn't say, not even just with reporting, but in general, then we wouldn't be really free. Hildy, will you come to the stage? Junior Zanger Award for Press Freedom. We all thank you for fighting for the right of the press to report the news freely, 
fully and truthfully. Congratulations and keep up the good work. This award was named after was jailed in 1734 for reporting bad things about the governor, but he and his wife Anna didn't back down. His wife continued, in, continued publishing the paper while he was jailed. The truth mattered that much. These are just two examples of people who the truth was just too important for them to let go. I think that reporting is one of the most noble professions, which is why I'm so honored to be here accepting this award. And yeah, it's a really amazing honor. But I'm, I'm not taking it as a celebration of me. I'm gonna take it as a recognition that the truth is always worth fighting for, no matter the cost. Thank you. 